scariest thing about machining is pressing that. When you press that, you're out of control. You've got to trust what you've done or trust what someone else has done if they've written the program, which is in this case, I've written the program, you're trusting me. Yeah. <laughs> Silly people. <laughs> so literally, when you press that, it's, you've got to really concentrate. If anything's going to go wrong at any stage, you can press that button there if you're unsure, yeah. or if you're really panicking, you press that button there. But this, it don't matter how old you are, how skilled you are, this is the scariest thing in the world when you're an engineer because you're trusting this. James, why did you choose the final product to win? Well, it was a really difficult choice, actually. Um, it came down to the fact that it, it's a product that would solve a problem uh, that this morning we didn't realise we had. And then when the students pointed it out, it was like, wow, we've been living with that for decades as engineers, and that solves a problem. But also, they hit the brief. Uh, it was a five-axis application. They'd thought about it. They'd thought about the the ramifications of it, they thought about future proofing it, future products, where they could take it, modularizing the whole thing. They'd really gone into it in, in a big way without being briefed or pushed on that side of things. So what pushed us over the edge was the group's engagement, the idea, the execution, how simple it would be to get out. And actually, it's a product that, that, that you would buy. Oh, I'd buy it. Steph, the engineers have seen their part get roughed out. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> Honestly, the look on their faces were brilliant. It was absolutely worth the wait. I think, I don't think they realised what they were expecting and I don't think they realised how good it was going to be. Um, and I think that process is, I don't know, it's just, you can tell they're excited about it. It was, it was absolutely brilliant to see it. Would you do the make-off again? Absolutely. I'm hoping it's going to be an annual thing. I'm hoping it's going to be a start of something really brilliant. Obviously, we've started engineering side, we'll try and push, and hopefully if it in inspires other colleges to get involved and do the same thing, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Group 10, Simple Engineering Solutions. What is it? What concept? What product have you come up with? We created a cutting tool holder for these parts. So when you've got them on a lathe, you're not having to go backwards and forwards from the stores to collect them. So it increases your productivity in the workshop. Absolute fa absolutely fabulous, seeing a problem out there in the marketplace, as they said, in their lean manufacturing. So what was the initial concept that you came up with then? What have you produced? So we created this, so these, the coin tool here would slot into these sections here. So like, you know where they are. And then on the side is the wrench thing to actually clamp these down. And then on the back, that circle is the magnet. So it'd stick onto your lathe itself. So what did you come up with, with regards to designing the product? Well, regards to designing on the, of the product, we have a logo that can be customized on the side and also some dots that can be anodized and do whatever the customer wants. So making it unique to maybe their own company, their brand? Yeah, whatever they want to, like their matching colors, let's say for BMW, like blue and then the light blue and red. What's your biggest challenge from today? I'm going to ask you, what's your biggest challenge from today? What have you enjoyed? Um, enjoyed working with new people and it's been quite challenging to come to a conclusion of what to actually do, but we got there in the end. Charlie, have you enjoyed the CNC side of things and the machining? Have you, um, is there something that you've learned that you can take away from today? Yes, I've, I've learned quite a bit about how the process that goes into creating a new project. And do you think you're going to win and why? Well, because we've done it, it's unique to what everyone else has done. And you've got a very successful product that I think there's a lot of people in there that would be looking to purchase in the future. So good luck. Thank you. So we're a couple of weeks on from the recent Make Off event at Vision West Knox College and um, we're back today to interview the students and see how they got on. Now the dust has settled, see how they felt about the day and look at running a few parts off as well. Uh, let's go inside, let's see how they got on, let them do the talking. So we're just talking to KC at the moment about women in industry and it's brilliant that, uh, that Casey's so engaged with it. So just a quick, quick couple of questions, what got you interested in, in the manufacturing engineering industry in the first place? Um, so in school I quite enjoyed maths and the sciences and uh, like design and stuff. 
but I didn't really know what to go into. I was a bit stuck, I didn't know what to do after school. Um, and someone mentioned to me, like, why don't you have a look into engineering? Because um, originally I thought, well, oh, I don't really fancy getting on a dirty machine. But when I did look into it, there's actually so many different parts to it. There's a lot of stuff that you wouldn't think of and there's something for everyone, really. We're seeing so many more people come through, young women coming through, getting involved with engineering. It's brilliant to see, uh, long overdue. Um, how did you feel about that? Did you, did, you, did you feel just pushed out, included? What, what's your experience? Because experience is what it's all about. Yeah. So um, when I, on my first day when I come to the college, I was, I was obviously mindful that it's going to be very male dominated like and I thought but surely I'm not going to be the only girl and I sat in that room and there was not another girl there was not another girl that walked in so obviously the fear kind of kicked in I was like right well this is what I want to do quite frankly I've just got to get on with it and I've just got to deal with it but do you know what they were all so lovely and I never felt like I were any different, I was included, because everyone was there for the same reason. Everyone was doing the exact same stuff as I was, it wasn't any different. So you just kind of get on with it, and most we're of the not time. a bad bunch in engineering, you know? <laughs> so what would you say to other young women that would want to think about getting into manufacturing as a, as a career choice? Just go for it, like don't be push back at the thought of it being male dominated because actually you find that sometimes some of the girls are some of the best. So here we are on the uh, official button push of the run through and the team leader, I'm fair to say team leader KC, KC's going to uh, push the button and uh, run the first component off all the way through. Over to you KC. Optional stop. Perfect. So cycle start again. Until you're comfortable. If you're comfortable about the rapids, you can go up a bit quicker. Just going to probe the part, make sure it's in the right place. Excellent, so now we know we're nice and safe to run. So, uh, cycle start again. And let's just wait for the rapid. Yeah, that looks in the right place. You can put the rapids up now and take the optional stop off. So um, your perceptions of the day probably you didn't realise what you were walking into on no. that make-off day. So how did you find the day as a whole? Well, I found the day as a whole. When I first got told about it, I was a bit sceptical, obviously, but I was just going to go into it with an open mind. Um, but as soon as the day started to get on, I was realising it's very well run, very nice people that came in. I was very happy with how everyone was getting treated. Um, and it was almost just like an insight into what en the engineering industry is actually like. It's like an insight, so I fully enjoyed it. I really enjoyed oh, myself brilliant. and yeah, found it really good. That's good to hear. So you got a different perception different, of manufacturing yeah. as an industry. Well, it's different to the teaching side, isn't it? It's more Definitely. like the actual real life and the inside perception of it. So yeah. So, so that was useful then for your kind of Definitely, thought yeah. process yeah, about yeah, getting into the industry. My thought process, yeah. Oh, that's that's great. And, and the idea you guys came up with it was it was quite a nice work holding solution for. Uh, setting the, a lathe, am I right in thinking about that? So holding the tools for a lathe. So um, probably Conrad, uh, if, if you could tell us, so what made you come up with that idea? How well, did you come up with that? Well, when we were on the lathing 
class, you had to keep going backwards and forwards to the stores to collect different parts. So having this would save you time and it would work in a workshop environment, speeding up your production levels, making it easier to get stuff done. So you won't waiting around as long for to get your parts on, all your tools set out. And it, it, it's a brilliant observation because as mentors, we we thought automatically on milling machines, you've got your tools laid out for you, haven't you? Yeah. And for, for years, we've just taken it for granted that, you know, with a lathe, you've got a, a workbench. And all the mentors turn around and say, wow, th this must have been invented before, but nobody knew where to buy one. So you've actually come up with something that you've seen a need in a practical solution. Is that, is that fair to say? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. It will come in handy in any workshop environment, won't it? What did you find challenging throughout the day, the whole process? Um, so I found that getting people involved was quite challenging. So it was working with new people. It was the first year level threes and the second year level threes. Because you were the team leader, weren't you? So yeah. you had to, to take charge as yeah, well. Yeah, so I had to make sure everyone was doing something. Everyone had a job to do. Everyone was getting involved. Um, but sometimes it was hard to get people to communicate ideas across, whether that be uh, because they just didn't feel comfortable talking to new people but it all worked out in the end everybody ended up having their own little job to do and everyone played their part and it paid off. What did you find really rewarding about the day? What I found and really reward, rewarding was the fact that our part our was completely original that there was nothing else on the, mar on the market. What also made it rewarding is that we were also chose I was, in, I was an actor of several different designs. Oh, fantastic. So, um, leading on then to what's next, while you've got the mic then, Charlie, what, what's next for you? What, what, what's the day done for you? Where, where are you going after this now? Because I guess you've finished college now? Yeah, finished college. So, currently I've been looking for an apprenticeship. Brilliant. So, actually, this, this has helped you want to get an apprenticeship in the manufacturing area. Yeah. So, so any employers out there that want to offer Charlie an apprenticeship, we've got a willing and capable guy here, that's fantastic. Uh, what about Conrad? I'm currently an apprentice plant fitter at a company up in Homewood. Oh wow, so that's happened recently then, yeah. presumably. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, well done you. So that's two out of two so far going into manufacturing. Uh, Casey? Um, so I uh, am a apprentice project technician at West Knotts College. Um, I stayed on and I'm going to go and do my level four, my HNC in September oh, at wow. Knotts Trent. So, so you've, you've actually, you're staying here? Yeah. Um, and, and is that fairly recent news as well, presumably? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, well um, done you. Yeah. So, so again, you can, uh, that's manufacturing, it's with these machines and everything else yeah, definitely. as an apprentice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, three out of three, no pressure. What's going on in Scott's world when we go? So in September I'm going to start my design engineering apprenticeship. Brilliant. Um, late September I'm starting that so that should be good and I'm going to be, that's in Leeds so I'm looking forward to it definitely. Brilliant. Well guys it, it's been an, an absolute pleasure to have you involved with this project and I'm so pleased that you've all got something from it and are going on in your onward journey. Um, tech's quite cool and it's evolving and uh, hopefully you lot are going to be the engineers of the future so really really appreciate your time thanks for coming back um, probably one last question to everybody uh, was it worth it was that has that day changed what you would have done in any way definitely, definitely I, yeah. I, I think that's definitely. a resounding yes so we'll take that as a thumbs up thanks guys brilliant work thank you